Hey Aries, Alice here with your July 2022 monthly reading. Uh, so we're just gonna check in on what's going on for this month and just see what spirit wants you to know and then we'll just go from there to just kind of free form and we'll just see what happens, um, what shows up here for you. Uh, technically this is a timeless reading even though it's a monthly reading so whenever you find it is when you are meant to find it um just keep in mind that this is a general reading so not everything is going to apply to your situation just take what resonates leave what doesn't don't try to force it just use your intuition here uh you can check your sun moon rising or venus signs or any sign that you feel drawn to um I was gonna say something about it but now I just completely forgot uh, yeah any sign that you feel drawn to um, I'm not an astrologer or anything like that I just use the signs as identifiers so if there's something that uh, feels right you know follow your intuition there uh, if you enjoy this reading or you find it entertaining in any way I would appreciate it if you could like and or subscribe that helps me do more with the channel and you get to be notified when I post new readings up which I try to do as frequently as I can I try to put up at least a weekly and weekend reading so there's at least two <laughs> per week at the very least um, all right so let's get started okay I just wanted to move the mic, but I didn't want it to like make a bunch of noise. All right, let's see what does uh, Spirit want Aries to know for this month. In the current energies, what is it that Spirit wants Aries to know about? Okay, <clears throat> Page of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay, mm, like it does seem that somebody or you may have been keeping an eye on a situation here, um, possibly a situation that was over here, or it could have, you know, it could have been that somebody who is spying or t or keeping an eye on a situation here they finished with that they've done doing that um because things weren't really happening here possibly i don't know i'm gonna need more information page of pentacles in reverse three of pentacles six of pentacles wheel of fortune justice in reverse in the nine of swords the overall energy of temperance in reverse. Okay. I feel overall you may be feeling a little bit stressed here, a little anxious, a little worried here because you don't have as much control over a situation that you feel like you should have control over. Here you feel like things should be going a certain way but they may not be going that certain way and it's caused some worries, some anxiety, some fears here. Actually a lot, to be honest. Um, it's making you feel a little like out of whack, out of sorts here. Like it's, you're not gonna feel yourself here because these are all major arcana here and the other only other major arcana is justice in reverse. There's a lot of imbalance that's going on here for you. I shouldn't say the only one, you know, Wheel of Fortune. There's a lot of imbalance here that's going on here for you, Aries, right now. Um, not just with you, but the people around you may be feeling um, stressed out here because, you know, maybe they're just feeling like there's something that isn't quite right. You know, they're not feeling 
um, they could be feeling stuck or they could just be feeling like they can't go with the flow kind of thing. You know, it, it's, it, it is, it is just feeling really stressed out here and there, you know, emotion is involved here. It has to do like emotional stress. This just feels like emotional stress here, um, caused by feeling a little out of control here. Yeah. See again here, there's the queen of cups. It's all to do with emotional stress here. So you and the people around you are feeling emotionally stressed out right now, um, for this month. Uh, okay. Let's see what the recent past here, page of swords, 10 of swords, ace of wands in reverse. So what may have happened, um, you may have said something or somebody may have said something to you um, that really wasn't what you wanted to hear um, or it didn't come out right here and it caused something to end. It caused a situation to end here um, because it, it feels like it just wasn't what you wanted to hear. If this was you, if you, if somebody said something to you, you know, it, it just was not what you wanted to hear. Um, yeah, <laughs> it, I mean, it just, yeah, like the Ace of Wands, it's just, it was not what you wanted to hear. You know, it didn't spark anything for you. It's like you were expecting something else and that wasn't what you were expecting. You weren't expecting whatever was said here by this page. I mean, the Page of Swords here can be kind of immature and also just doesn't really know what they're talking about. Um, you know, they often can say disappointing things here because they think that they're saying the right thing, but they're not at all. You know, it's the wrong thing. And yeah, I, I feel like this is more you with the Ten of Swords that you ended something here um, because of that. Um, again, there could be there can be a spying energy here. Maybe somebody has been watching you or you've been watching them here, keeping their distance, just keeping an eye on things here because of something that had just kind of ended. I'm getting like an abrupt end here with the Ten of Swords. It just feels very abrupt here with the Ace of Wands. It's just like abrupt. It didn't start. Nothing started here. Just end. Just feels very sudden here, this ending for some reason. Um, because it's like, okay, we didn't even get off the ground here and just pff, ending, whatever that situation is. Um, current situation, page of pentacles in reverse three of pentacles and six of pentacles. There's a lot of pentacles here. Um, right now it feels like your energy is very focused on things and in pentacles. Um, I don't think you really know what you're doing. Um, or somebody doesn't know what they're doing. I don't know if this is you or if this is somebody else. Uh, but the Page of Pentacles in reverse. There's somebody here who just doesn't know what to do. Um, they don't know how to get on the same page here with you. They, you know, and, and you know, be more generous. Be more giving here with their time, with their information. You know, I, it just feels like the Three of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. This is like... It can be a social situation here. This, you know, it can be just, you know, how do I work things out? How do I work things out here? How do I work it out? How do we, um, how do we have a sort of equal give and take here? Um, when it comes to like time and effort here, it feels a lot of like effort based, you know, it's like somebody here, it can be you Aries or somebody else is just completely clueless because they don't they don't know what to do here they don't know how to almost be a team player here they don't know how to um cooperate here with you on the level that you want it could be vice versa energies can be reversed i mean this could be you as well um keep that in mind it's like whatever ended it's like this person here is clueless into how do we rebuild? How do I build up, you know, that foundation with you 
again here. You know, what, do, what is it that I have to do? This person doesn't know what to do. They're like, what is it that I have to do in order for us to get to a place where things are balanced? You know, where this connection, if it's a connection, like the relationship, like the 3D relationship here, whatever, whether it's like an actual relationship or friendship, whatever it is, you know, how do we, how do we build something here so it's balanced here? Because this person has no idea what to do um, here. I see in the f near future that something's going to change here because the imbalance here, there's so much imbalance here. With justice in reverse and temperance in reverse, it's too much, you know. the The universe, for me, um, I I don't think that it's sentient, whatever source, whatever you want to call it. Uh, for me, I mean, it could be, but I don't really believe that it is. Or if it is, then it's it's not really concerned about like everybody's personal life. It's just you know, it's just wanting some balance, you know. Because when there isn't balance, when something is too far on one end, then things get all chaotic and, I mean, it doesn't work. I mean, even when you look at things in nature or things in your life, um, when there is an imbalance, it doesn't work. When you have too much of one thing or not enough of another thing, like when you get, like, like think of sleep, right? If you get too much sleep that's not good. And if you don't get enough sleep, that's not good either. You have to find that balance in order for yourself, for your body to feel balanced. Um, I feel it's the same way um, with energy and the universe as well. Um, and with connections and all of that, it's like there needs to be a balance here. And with the three and six of pentacles, this is all about trying to find that balance, that harmony here within this connection and I feel like the page of pentacles somebody's completely lost they're so lost they're so clueless they have no idea how to do this and I feel like almost the universe is going to throw this person a bone here and be like okay 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 we're gonna change things things are gonna change here things are gonna change here because it's too out of balance with justice here in reverse there's too much imbalance and there's too much stress here with the nine of swords i mean this is the same energy as this energy here justice in reverse nine of swords there's things are too too one-sided going more to one side here um because somebody here this person this page of pentacles is just can't stop thinking about I don't know what to do. That's all this person thinks about. That's all this page of pentacles thinks about is I don't know how to, what to do with this situation. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. That's all this nine of, it's all, that's all this page of pentacles person thinks about is what do I do? How, how do I like, look at this person? This person is distressed. This person can't sleep. You know, this, they, they stay up at night. They think about this. You know, this is the last thing they think of before they like eventually like pass out. They don't fall asleep. They pass out. This is the last thing they think about. This is the first thing they think about when they wake up in the morning. This is all they think about is the imbalance. It's it's too imbalanced here. This person is not getting enough sleep or they're getting too much sleep. I don't know. They could be just sleeping away the pain. Like, I don't want to like think about it. So I they just sleep or they're not getting enough sleep because all they can do is think about it. Whatever it is, it's an imbalance. I know I am saying that a lot, but that's all that's here is wanting things to balance because they're in balance. It's causing a lot of stress here. Um, and you're going to feel it. You feel this stress. You feel the imbalance here. Even if you're like, you know, I feel kind of fine. Um, you may be feeling like things like that, you know, that nagging feeling that things aren't quite right. You know, things are a little out of whack here. Because honestly, this energy, I don't feel like it's you. I mean, if it's you, then okay. If you're the page, but I don't feel like you're these pages here. I feel like these, I feel like these pages are the same person, but we'll get some clarification here. Let's get some clarification here.
Knight of Wands in reverse, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so whoever was talking here, this Page of Swords energy, um, I feel like this person was actually taking their time here. They might, this person may have not have said anything to you for a while. Uh, with the Knight of Pentacles here. This person was likely waiting for an opportunity to say something. Um, you know, they were just kind of waiting around. Um, not, you know, being very cautionary. They might have been stalling things a little bit here. Um, just waiting, being very patient before they say anything. And then when they finally did say something, it didn't come out right here. Um, I almost, it almost feels like this person thought like they had to say something because you know un, uh, too much time was starting to to go by or they haven't or they realized they weren't putting in a lot of effort here i don't i think this person said something before they were ready to say something um they wanted to wait longer but they almost like forced themselves to say something here because um yeah I, it almost feels like a panic like the like panic mode here because um they just thought too much time had gone by or that they weren't putting enough effort into this and so they, it does feel like i don't think they blurted anything out it just feels like it didn't come it, it yeah it did not it didn't come out the way that it should have come out here and i feel like this is it ended things here um whatever this person said caused something to end here or They were talking about something that was ending, something that was painful. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. Somebody cut somebody out. Somebody stopped talking to them. Um, to somebody here. The Queen of Swords in Reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is you, Aries. Um... Because I don't feel like these pages are you. It can be um, in some cases here, but I'm feeling probably more likely that the pages are somebody else, um, possibly somebody younger than you, possibly an air or earth sign, or they have air or earth placements, maybe. Um, the Yeah, because whatever this person said... It was because, or they did hear, because like I said, they don't have to be saying anything. They could just be watching you, um, you know, keeping an eye on things here. But I do feel like they might have, eventually they have said something here or done something here because I feel like you ended something here. The, the Queen of Swords here, she don't take no bullshit. She just like, if you piss her off, she just, she won't want to talk to you. She'll just be like, I'm done. I'm done. Don't talk to me. Um... But I feel, overall, this ending was something that you felt was for your own good, whatever that means here. Um, so if you cut somebody else out, you were doing it, you know, for your for you, you know, for your own um, sanity here. I guess we could say it like that, um, because you were you're focusing on yourself. Like this was something that was good for you. Yeah, the star here. Yeah, this was something that was good for you. This was something that was going to heal you, be very healing for you, so you can figure things out um, here. So somebody may also be, yeah, spying on you because you did this. Page of Wands, uh-huh, and the Queen of Wands, and the King of Wands. Look, the whole family's here. Ay ay ay. Page, Queen, and King with the Ace of Wands in reverse. You know what it, what it feels like here? Like there's a, you know, there's a lot of desire here, um, a lot of attraction to each other here. 
But it feels like something didn't start here because somebody was in this page of wands energy. Somebody was like, you know, I'm going to do what I want to do. There's, there is a sense of immaturity here and hiding how attracted they are to you or how attracted you are to them. Actually, it's both. I feel like you're both very attracted to each other, but you hide. You hide behind your ego. You, you pretend to be very confident in yourselves here. Um... I feel like this is why it didn't, you know, things didn't work out. There's too much pride here on both sides for you and this person, for this page and for you. You know what I mean? You're both here with the queen and king of wands. You're both, there is a divine couple here. You know, you both are very attracted to each other, like very attracted to each other. You know, like you like check all the boxes here off for each other here, but I mean, you know, you, there's the good and the bad sides of this fiery energy here. And I feel like you both kind of got in your own way. Your egos got in the way here. And that may be why nothing really happened. Because something didn't start here. and it, Or it was just uninspiring here. It's like, it's like almost, okay. So when I say uninspiring or like there was no spark, it was because you, both of you were just kind of pretending because nobody wanted to admit that it, it's it's a weird energy it's like i don't want to admit that i you know that i like you that i'm attracted to you why because then i would have to admit that i you know it, it's it has to do with your ego you know how how would people think what would people think that's what all this is when i say ego it's your brain right and you know your pride and everything it's thinking too much about stupid shit you know not thinking you're not following your heart or listening to your intuition or your emotions it's all about thinking like how would this work um what would people think um like what would my friends think what would my family think um you know if uh if there's like a money issue here it's like oh i think this person doesn't make enough money this person doesn't make as much as i do this person doesn't have the status the social status that i have um it's all this stupid bullshit um i mean that is a little more pentacle based but it's the thinking part of it you know like oh i can't admit or i can't say these things because what would you know how how would people see me you know how would people see me how would this person see me? You know, would this person think I'm weird? Um, this person would think I'm weird if I said this to them. You know, it's all of that shit. So it's like, instead of saying it, you just kind of pretend that everything's okay and that, you know, pretend that you're the best and everything, pretend all of this shit. It's a lot of fakery. There's a lot of masks being worn here. Um, now this is the recent past though so let's move on because this is the past let's let's get away from this because i feel like this page this page of swords i know there's a lot of pentacles here but it almost feels like how do i fix things well i can easily tell you how you got to get out of your head that's how you get out of your head you listen to your intuition you listen to you know you open up your heart chakra and you um that's how that's how you get that's how yeah you get rid of this shit the devil the shadows energies here um there's that page of swords again yeah i told this page is the same as this page this this page of pentacles is a direct result of the actions of this page here this page of swords i told you it has to do with ego I don't say shit for no reason. This page is in there is 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 thinking too much about what would people think. That is that is what this is. Because, you know, it's a page, you know, they think too much. What would other people think? What what would I think? You know, there's a lot of thinking, thinking about ego going on here. You know, how would this look? How how would this work? You know, there, there's so, there, that's what's going through this page's mind. Maybe they said something along those lines. I don't know. Possibly here. Um, but this page is the reason why this page of pentacles feels clueless and doesn't know what the fuck to do. They don't know what the fuck to do here. I do feel like this person has gotten past some of their, some of their uh, shadow energy here. 
because really, I think it kicked their ass a little bit, to be honest, all this energy. I think they got their ass kicked a little bit here. I think a little bit of the universe kicked this person's ass here and, you know, it, it, it forced them to pay attention to it and force them, you know, you're going to have to fix some things within you. You're going to have to fix a little bit of this um, here. So I do feel there was a little bit of a humble is a humbleizing. I don't even think that's a word, but <laughs> I do feel this person got a little bit humbled here for, um, I, I don't know how, but they did here. So now they're like, okay, I do feel like this person wants to work things out. They want, um, they, they do want some, balance and equality some harmony going on here they just don't know how to do it with you here um again energies can be reversed i'm having a hard time figuring out who's who you could be the pages very possible or this other person could be the pages although i mean, do feel that you're the queen of swords here i do feel that yeah I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is also karma as well. Um, again, like I said, I feel like the universe here kicked this person's ass a little bit. They, they got a little bit of karma back here. Um, and that can be why they've moved on from this Page of Swords to this Page of Pentacles. Yeah, High Priestess, Judgment in Reverse. The Yeah, oh, there was a swift kicking here uh, with the Eight of Wands. <laughs> Um, yeah, oh, but I, I do feel also whatever change is happening here with the Wheel of Fortune, it's going to come in really quick. You know, I say this is near future. This is, this is sooner than you think. I feel, I feel a change, a change in the wind or whatever is happening a lot sooner than you think it is here. Um, you don't know, you don't know what's going on here. Um, this change is happening and you're not even going to realize it. This is all divine intervention, divine timing, or whatever you want to call it that's going on here when the Wheel of Fortune is showing up here. You know, this can be something that has been going on for a long time. You just didn't know it was going on for a long time here. Um, because there's, because this is supposed to happen. So, like I said, there's an imbalance here and judgment in reverse it's like this was not the way it was supposed to go so the universe is correcting there is a re-correction going on here um with this wheel of fortune because I, mean, I know i talk a lot about imbalance here because there is a lot of imbalance here and there's a lot of trying to balance things out here so i do feel the universe it's almost like this is a priority here in the energy you know it's going to happen a lot sooner than you think um because you don't know you don't know how much that like here's the thing you don't even realize how how bad this is we'll put it that way you don't realize how bad the imbalance here how how much the sta the scales have tipped here in one direction uh i don't think that you even realize it and the universe is like okay we need a recorrection we need to correct this here because again that's not the way this was supposed to go this is just not the way it was supposed to go here. It's causing too much stress. There's too much stress in this connection. There's too much stress in, in the energy here. Um, okay. So I do believe that these, this page is somebody here. So let's just kind of look a little bit more on who. Do I want to use the page? Ah, oh, they're a page of pentacles now. So we'll use this, this page of pentacles energy. Who is this person? We'll just take a little bit of a deeper dive here. Oh, this is getting a little longer than I thought it would. That's what happens when I talk too much. Queen of Cups in reverse and the star. Um, I 
I feel this person is kind of an emotional wreck right now and they're trying to heal though. Okay, that's the important thing. Um, this is towards you. This is their energy towards you. They, I feel that this person, <sighs> you cut them out and I don't know if you realize how upset they were about that. Um, when I say upset, I mean, this hurt, you know, their heart a little bit here. You know, this is somebody who feels emotionally drained, um, emotionally distressed here. Um, when it comes to you, I mean, this card like flew out. So yeah, this person is emotionally distressed when it comes to you. I do feel that they're healing, but they also see you here as, you know, the, I don't know I'm getting answer to my prayers. Okay. Um, something along those lines here, they, you know, they see the empress here as the, key, you know, the wish, the goal, the goal, the aspiration here. Um, they feel excluded here. Ten of Pentacles, High Priestess. This emotional distress is because they feel left out in the cold here on something that they thought was pretty solid. I'll, I'll, I'll make a note of that. You know, Spirit here wants you to know that this person thought that you would never leave them out. They thought that you would never do this, that you would never cut them off here that you, you yeah they they thought that your connection was pretty solid like ten of pentacles solid like they felt very comfortable and secure here with you in this connection they thought that yeah there's no way that aries would cut me out because <laughs> they don't know aries very well but um yeah again high priestess they you know they didn't know they didn't know they, they didn't see this coming they didn't know. Um, I feel like they also don't talk about this either. Um, they really, they probably will never tell you the reason why. They probably would never tell you that they're in this Queen of Cups um, in reverse here. Um, yeah, I feel like they hide this a lot. They might even hide it from themselves. They might not even know why they feel this way. So what is this person? What are they going to do next here? Nothing. A big fat nothing. <laughs> they're just going to stall. They're stalling maybe because they're healing. It's possible that they're still healing here. Um, they need some more time here. Yeah, it can be that they need more time to heal. Uh, I don't think they're doing anything here. Uh, it does feel like they know that they're stalling. Um, they know that, yeah, but this time, see, I feel like part of the mistake that this person feels like they might have done is that they rushed things. Like I said, panic mode, said something, did something, um, before they were ready. So yeah, what they're going to do here is a big fat nothing. They're just kind of going to sit here and stall things out, delay things here. What is this person's intentions towards you? Five of Wands stuck in there. They may be feeling conflicted on what they actually want to do here. Four of Wands in the Tower. This feels like this is the conflict here between, you know, something safe, something stable, something happy, and then something that's being burned down here. Um, yeah, they're in their head. This person's in their head. This person doesn't actually know what they want with you. Here's That's the thing. Uh, that might be why they're stalling here, why they need more time. They need more time to heal because they don't 
really know what it is that they want here um, with you in this connection um, in general. It's like a part of them wants something stable here. A part of them wants this stable life here with you. But then there's another part that just thinks maybe I should just burn it all down. You know, maybe I should just, you know, burn the bridge, so to speak, here. They're very conflicted with themselves here and you know they're stuck they feel stuck you know they're they're thinking too much here i mean it's because they don't really know what to do right you know this person has no direction right now they have no sense of direction like they this person needs like a sign a signal on what to do here they don't know what to do here okay how's this person viewing you how do they see you I don't know which way this goes. Six of Wands. The Hanged Man, okay, or Hanged One, and the Eight of Cups in reverse with the Ten of Swords. Or Ten of, yeah, Ten of Swords in reverse. Um, they see you as somebody who is a source of pain for them. Yeah, you're a source of pain for them, sort of something that they cannot let go. The Ten of Swords in Reverse is unresolved pain. And this is something that they, they, they I don't think they want to let it go, for one. They can't let you go. You know, they can't let you go here, but you do cause a lot of pain for this person here. They see you as somebody that isn't paying attention to them. Um, they don't feel like you're paying any attention to them. And, you know, because, you know, you're maybe you're focused on yourself here. Um, you're just doing your own thing here. I, I don't know. Like, see, here's the thing. This person thinks that you haven't moved on from them. Um, they see you as somebody who hasn't really done anything different here not really like they see you as somebody who's just kind of floating around somebody who um isn't really moving forward but not moving backwards like they just see you as somebody who just kind of exists yet you haven't really changed anything here they feel they think that you are stuck here that you are that you're unable to move on emotionally here from this connection here but you know they think that you're not paying any attention to them as well now this could also be that this person the way that they see you they see you as somebody who you know they they're trying not to pay attention to you you know because it causes a lot of pain for them so they're trying to ignore you they're trying not to pay attention to the things that you're doing here even though they kind of they see everything even though they see the things that you're doing here but they're unable to actually move on from you you know they they're emotionally attached here to you and you know it causes them a lot of pain here but they don't they don't want to let this go see again in their head thinking 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 how does this person feel towards you how does this person feel? Well, I mean, there's a lot of swords. They can't stop thinking about how they feel. Their emotions, but... The Nine of Wands and the Three of Swords in reverse. This person is really broken up about you. There's a lot of pain. I, I, I don't... I mean, I understand why this person isn't ready to do anything here. This person has a lot of healing they still need to do. A lot of healing here because, you know, we said, like the Queen of Cups in reverse, that's the first thing that came out here. This is, that is their energy towards you. They feel on the outside here and that, you know, fucks with their emotions a lot. This person, how they feel with you, you know, they feel heartbroken here. And for me, when the Three of Swords in, is in reverse, it's the same as the Ten of Swords in reverse. It's unresolved. You know, this is continuous heartache here. You know, it yeah, and it can cause instability. It can cause somebody to feel unstable here um, as well. Mm. I feel like... 
feel like they're it almost feels like you know they're they're trying with their feelings here there is a sense of i'm trying i'm trying to handle my feelings but there is a big wall there is a wall around this person's heart because of this because you know they feel very heartbroken here there is a big wall around this person's heart here see a lot of sadness and how they feel towards you this person i i don't think you realized how how hurt this person is over you um there's a lot of sadness here there's a lot of regret here that needs to be healed this person is healing this person needs to be this person needs to heal here uh they have it yeah they're not over any of this they're not over you they're not over any of this but they're not going to do anything okay let's see what the potential outcome here is for you aries for this month and we'll wrap things up Okay, so we have the Four of Swords, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse, the Six of Wands in reverse, the Hermit, Star in reverse, and the Ace of Cups in reverse here. And we have the Emperor. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, overall energy here for you, Aries. Uh, I mean, this the Emperor here, that is your card here. This is all about you. Um, this energy here. Uh, I feel like you are taking the lead here um, when it comes to your life. Um, you're, it does feel, when I say this, it's going to come out selfish, but it's not. You are just looking out for you right now, I feel. You are overseeing things in your life and the things that you can control, which is you, your life. You, I mean, I do feel your energy here is I'm going to control what I can control um, here and I'm going to even put boundaries in place for myself here. There's a lot of, yeah, me, me, me. See, see, it's in three of pentacles. Three of pentacles in reverse. Me, me, me. I'm looking out for me. Two of wands here. You know, I, again, literally, I am looking out for me and me only. You know, you're making decisions here based on what would be best for you. I don't think it, it, it's not as selfish as uh, it's coming out. It's, you know, this is just almost like, um, this is the only thing that you can control is yourself here. And it does feel that the decisions that you make, you can only make them for yourself. You can't make decisions for other people. So that is where your energy is going to, where your focus is. Um, so potential outcome here. Um... I feel that if you do feel sadness in any way about what had happened here in the situation, I do feel that you do have a lot of sadness here, that you do feel bad about it, that there's a lot of hopelessness here for the situation, um, that something that your goals here with this connection, with the situation aren't going to be met here. I do feel, I do see that there's a lot of you just sort of distracting yourself away from this here, um, distracting yourself you know, um, almost like deluding yourself a little bit here, just distracting yourself from because of this, um, because you feel, you feel the sadness, you feel the pain. I feel that you probably feel this person's sadness and pain as well. And you're just trying to distract yourself away here. You're taking a break here. This is me time for swords of the hermit. You know, you're taking time to yourself here, um, to think, to heal as well. Um, but I, I do feel it's more, you know, again, you're just kind of focusing on you here, um, using your own, your best judgment, your judgment here, your advice here on, you know, what I should do here. You know, uh, you know, should I heal? Should I not heal here? 
Uh, again, see, these are two energies of distraction, of not paying attention to things here. Uh, you're not paying attention to the sadness here. You're not paying attention to the emotions here that are all over the place. I just see you. When it comes to how you feel about this connection, um, you are kind of a little cold here, a little bit here. I do see that you are kind of just like, I just, I'm just not going to pay attention to it. I don't want to pay attention to this stuff here. I'm just going to like rest and it, it feels a little bit like a waiting energy, but not really. It's like waiting, but not really waiting. You know, still in control, still going to do what you want to do here. But yeah, you're definitely not paying attention to, um, these emotions, even if you have emotions, you know, deep emotions, it's like, it's like, it basically, it's like, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry over this. I'm not going to get upset over this anymore. I'm going to put my focus elsewhere. I'm look. I'm putting my focus elsewhere, you know, for me to heal because this is what you feel, you know, is the best thing for you to do right now. You're using your own inner wisdom here. And being like, I, you know, I can't pay attention to this. Otherwise, otherwise you're going to end up like that page. You're going to end up like that page, an emotional wreck here. So you have to move on. You have to, it, I don't see you moving on. I just see you diverting your attention, distracting yourself with other things. I mean, this is, you know, potential outcome here, but the potential outcome is not for very far. You know, it's like for the next like month or two kind of thing. It really doesn't span out that far. Um... So yeah, uh, that's your reading, Aries, uh, for this month. Thanks for watching. Um, good luck here and take care and I will talk to you later.